All right, so here we are given two points, and we're going to write an equation in slope-intercept form. We do need to find slope. Slope is rise over run, or change in y's over change in x's. So change in y's, let's look at that. Negative 1 to negative 13, that's going to be a down 12, and you can use subtraction if you want to. As far as change in x's go, let's look at those. That's going to be from 2 to 6 to 3, 4, 5, 6. That's going to be over 4. If you need more help with slope, click the card up here at the top. We can do division to clean this up even more. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. So now we have at least one point, and we have the slope. So we're going to use point slope form. Here is a point slope form, but this one's going to be a little bit faster for what we're using it for. The m is still slope. That's going to be negative 3 for this question. And pick a point. Either one. We'll use this one. The x1 is going to be 2, and the y1 is going to be negative 1. We normally don't add a negative, so let's go ahead and clean that up a little bit and call it minus 1 instead. Now, we do need to simplify this or clean it up more. We're going to use the distributive property. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and negative 3 times negative 2, that's a plus 6 there. And then we also have 6 minus 1 that we can simplify more, and there's our slope-intercept form. Negative 3 is the m, the slope, and 5 is the y-intercept. Click on these other links if you haven't seen them yet. They deal with slope and writing equations of lines.